Go What's face up her. with him? Be careful with the with the. I'm ready. Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones. It's the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. And today I'm joined by Vince Staples. His second studio album, the much buzzed about critically acclaimed Big Fish Theory, is available now. Stream it, download it, buy it. But first, the wings of death. Vince, welcome to the show. How you feeling, man? I'm pretty good, man. How about you? I'm good. Y'all been talking a lot of shit. You, know, you have. You came in here pretty chirpy. But I respect it. I appreciate it. You know what I mean? This is this is boo-boo right now. This not gonna this not done. This got a cheetah on it. Like, that's not hard body, you know what I mean? How are you with hot food? Are you a spice guy? Come on, I'm from the ghetto. Dollar menu and spicy, that's all we got. Oh! Now I mean, my nigga, because y'all playing games, because y'all eating plain ass wings, you know what I mean? We came branded, so you know, that's for me. You want some? Yeah, I'll take some. I'll take All right, some. Hold on. I'll just go, I'll just, you know what, I'll just smather the the um, the board. I don't have a saucer. This is barbecue sauce? I love it already. I love it already. It's it kind of a fire wing. It's, right? it's a good They're texture. Good. They don't have a lot of crunch to them, but they don't need that because the way that the chicken is cooked through and the quality of the skin, uh -huh. you know what I mean? Some white meat. It was kind of biracial. It's, it looked dark right here. I feel you. <laughs> So I'll get to music in a second, but I want to start on the gridiron because I know that you're one of the more notable alumnus of the Snoop Dogg Youth Football League. I was nice. We played the Carson Colts every year. They used to cheat. Wow. They it's had like a grown, rivalry. They had grown ass men on their team. Them and the Mission Viejo Cowboys used to cheat. So I just want everybody to know that them kids are cheaters and I hope they never prospered in life because they took a lot from me as a kid. But you know, Snoop really did it big. We had our names on our jerseys. We got the best cleats, the best helmets. You know, Snoop Dogg really loved football, man. So this is what they went with that one. They went for the slight spice. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the hint of flavor with the slight spice. That way it's like you go a little bit hard. And it's like, that's like for Mexican food. You know what I mean? Maybe a nice enchilada. That's what that's for. Just like fried chicken, which is like a braised chicken with hot sauce on it. It's rare that we have guests that like the wings. The wings are cool, you know what I mean? I'm a kind of sore. I got the suicide wigs, you gotta sign the waiver, like, you know what I mean? I done that before. I went I'm, to Howland Rays and it's that same thing where you have to sign a waiver to go for that back room extra hot because they don't want to be liable if you just drop dead or spontaneously combust. If you die off of the wings, you was a bitch. It's much more ways to die. You have a heart attack off the wing, should have been vegan. What if you throw up today? Nah, I'm a bitch. You know, in talking to you, I think that you have sort of a healthy distrust of the industry. And then for a 23-year-old, you seem more or less immune to the trappings of fame. What are the mistakes that you see young artists make when they experience overnight success? I do some songs. I come do some shit like this. I go to a show and then I go home. Save your money, pay your taxes, don't go to jail. This is fire. You like the sauce? This is good. This need to be on like some jerk, some jerk chicken, jerk chicken mm -hmm. pizza, California pizza kitchen or something like that. This is hot. So like many of our viewers, you haven't grown out of your gaming stage. I came from, I've been falling off bad, dude. In this over the ear headset age, sometimes gaming can be a more hostile environment than, you know, hip hop even. Oh my, they say niggers so much. You know this firsthand. And fat, like, how you know what I look like? Well, you're a little fat bitch. I was playing this kid, he played 2K. He up by like 15, you know what I mean? But I play an old man's game, you feel me? I'm hit that pick and roll, boom, boom, boom. I'ma call timeouts. I'm waiting to the whole clock out. You know, you gotta get your team ready. Mm -hmm. I'm coming back. Stop running pick and rolls. You're such a, a gay slur. I'm like, we don't use them, them words around here, boom. But on the new 2K, if you say stuff like that, you get a technical. So I'm at the line, you feel me? Boom, I'm at the line, I'm at the line. He goes, your mom's a nigger and just Cancel the shit. I'm like, but what about me, bro? Like, you talking, we play, you playing me. You ain't gotta bring my mom into this shit. Safe to say, I'm real good. Like, I'm real good. Of all the rappers that you've played with over the years, who's the best gamer? Is it Logic? People say it's Logic. It's probably Logic, but he be running from me. He called me on Corey phone the other day on FaceTime. Like, what's up, man? I'm like, what we gonna play? He's like, do you have a Switch? You know, damn well, I don't got no damn Nintendo. <laughs> Turn your PlayStation on, he running, bro. Taco thought he was hard, whooped on him. Now I'm on Genesis, whooped on him. Tyler created everybody, I took a L. 
They play Mario Kart, not kill shit. I'm playing grown man games. If you can't win a championship or kill nobody in the game, it's not for me, bro. Okay. Okay. You're into it. Yeah, I'm proud of you. Well, then the first time I had this, but I didn't have it on wings like this. I remember giving it to me. Oh, a yeah, yeah, time. yeah, 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 yeah. You've, you've gone through a couple bottles. Yeah, and I'll do it big. So anyone who listens to your music knows that you rep Long Beach to the fullest. So what I've done is I've gone to TripAdvisor and I've pulled some of the best things to do in the LBC. So what I want to do is bounce them off of you and you can tell me if it's just some lame tourist trap, if you'd recommend it to a friend, if you know somewhere off the beaten path that's better. Does that sound good? That's good. All right, the Queen Mary. No, you're gonna get shot. Or you might just see a lot of drunk old people. But shipwreck at the Queen Mary, the little Halloween, blah, blah, you're getting, you're getting popped on. It's a trap. On a sinking ship. Best place to visit in downtown Long Beach. So go to Bird 55, they catching the fish right out the ocean in San Pedro's fire. You pay like $3, you get you a whole ass salmon with fries, with coleslaw, with all the fixes. They got the top of the T.O. tied down Damn. on the counter, because you know niggas still, that's how you know it's really <laughs> a hit. They, they really over there doing it. They pull the crab out the tank, smack cuz in his head, he out of there, boom, cook it, it's delicious. Best seafood you'll ever have in your life. Have you ever been on uh, one of those whale watching or dolphin yeah. cruises? 100% worth it. Whale watching is low-key sad, though. You feel like you invading their personal space, because they look at you. It's like they gonna go up and like, who the fuck is you? And just look at him a little bit. I feel like if he would have got pissed off, we would have been out of there. There would have been curtains for everybody. Yeah, but Will watching is fun. Have you ever been to that Knott's Berry Farm in Buena Park? Yeah. Worth it or not worth it? It depends on when you go. Okay. You can get shot there too. It's a couple of places when we, we was in high school. You like not scary farm. You go on like a Saturday night. Ooh, yeah. Be ready. But I love Knott's Berry Farm. It's my favorite theme park. They got crazy good preserves and biscuits and stuff. You know what I mean? It's, it's like your grandmama house with roller coasters. When I say Bradley Knoll, what's the first thing that comes to mind? I love Bradley. They did a lot for the city. They like was like on the forefront of the sky shit, you know what I mean? But I'm not fucking with them right now, because he said don't keep doing a group when I die. And guess what a nigga did? Kept the group going while he died. It's just not cool. All right, so this one's Dirty Dicks. Very aggressive brand name. This is fire tool. I these knew. are just these are just good. Like I knew you'd like this one. Mmm. It's the raisins. Do you still do Yelp reviews? Nah, man, they blew the spot up. Right? I was having fun too. They only seen one, but I had like a year and a half of Yelp reviews. Like I was going hard, bro. Because you did a hot chicken review. Everybody wrote about it. It's a funny they review. They told me um it was like a line down the block, like for the next couple days. And that's when I knew. I was, I was low-key going somewhere with it. Not because no shows or nothing. When I can make a nigga go wait in line for some chicken, that's an influence. Did you ever have to write a one-star review? Because the one that got all the press was a five-star review. Nope. Did you ever have to write a one-star? I'm only going five-star places. I like that. I like that because I feel like there's some people who only do one-star reviews. Like to they be, only have a young thing to be and jerks. also, it's like, oh man, the food is delicious, but I asked for water and I only got two ice cubes, one star. So yeah, right. I know if I'm going to somewhere grimy, I want a grimy experience. You know what I mean? I'm not looking for everything to be no noble. If you go to the Waffle House and they keep repouring your water, you're going to feel uncomfortable, bro. I'm gonna feel like they trying to hang me in the back. I'm not with none of that, bro. Waffles, they supposed to be real. What you want, we don't got that. That's it, all right. Boom, five stars, you know what I mean? You have to contextualize a restaurant. Come on, bro. A horror movie not supposed to have good lighting, bro. That's a fire artwork, I like that. See, it's hot, right? But it's not like the good, it got that bitter hot. Mm -hmm. What's in this? Yeah, this is, this is just nasty. Just nasty, like. Does Chipotle qualify as Mexican food in your opinion? No, Chipotle is gentrification and they killing people. <laughs> is deep dish pizza pizza? We went to some place in Chicago, it looked like old school mafia like type restaurant. It was really poorly lit, like, old people in there chilling, smoking cigarettes in the front type shit. Like, we were like, felt like Chicago, right? It had been open for a really long time. I guess it was like one of the first places that had deep dish. So like, they just gave you a bowl and then they like poured all the ingredients in the bowl and they put the bread around the bowl and they baked the whole bowl. 
And I was like, this shit looks disgusting. It's the best pizza I've ever had in my life. So I'm rocking with Chicago off that alone. What, in your opinion, is the best food city in the country? Do you have one? Boston. Easy. Boston, easy. It's not even close. Boston. You can get chowder, the seafood. They got good burgers. They have the most elite selection of fast food chains. And they got the squid ink pasta. And we seen a fight for gay rights in Boston. Really? Yeah. They chased the dude down the street, blah, blah, bothered him for no reason. They said slur. He said, what do you say? He says, I'm crazy. I ain't even gonna say on camera. He says, I'm crazy. The gay dude did. Boom. So then they get out the car like they finna jump him. His brother come out the store. Swear to God, that's exactly like. He had a six pack of beer in his hands. He spiked it. Boom. Took his shirt off. What do you wanna do? So the fuck what if he's gay? I'm like, this is crazy. And Corey like, nah, we finna watch this. The police standing directly next to us. The cop goes, this shit is crazy, right? and just keep watching it. I'm like, that's Boston for you, bro. Run y'all fade and we gonna talk about it later. If anybody gets stabbed, somebody go to jail. Other than that, we out of here. And the meal was delicious. And right across the street, it was a line for ice cream. Down she was a line for like, what was like donuts or something. Everybody eating, bro. Why you think the crime rate so high out there? Because everybody's all calorieed up and just on, ready to man, burn off it off. Sweets and, and, and beer, and, <laughs> come on, bro. I love Boston, man. Shout out Isaiah Thomas, man. Shout out Jalen Brown. Oh, this is just disgusting. Oh, that's nasty. Right away. It's like, don't make it dry, dry cuz. Like, it's still gonna be hot if it's not dry. Ashy ass hot sauce. Yeah, it's just nasty, bro. The Hidden Valley can't save it. She tastes like poison. She be ashamed of y'all fucking self. Orange juice? As someone who leads a straight edge lifestyle, which is more annoying to be around? Being sober around a bunch of drunk people drunk. or sober around a bunch of super high people? That's drunk. High people relax. Take that out of this. That's trash. The bomb. I get it, because they like, nigga, I don't care if you, oh, you ain't even gonna like it. <laughs> but niggas gonna hurt. Mm hmm. Woo! Little What's face up? Look at him. Be careful with the with the. I'm ready. Napkin. Come on, I don't man. want you to hit. The I got the fall. Oh. Okay. Veteran move. Fall. You've been here before. What do people not know about the pitfalls of being a rapper who has asthma? They smoke weed at your shows. It's hard to run around. It's hard to breathe. You gotta breathe constantly. Right. If you can't breathe. You can't do your job. I said, hey, can y'all stop smoking about shows, please? I'm Mosiah said, you's a bitch, nigga. <laughs> we fuck you and your show, bitch. You ungrateful. I'm like, all right. Oof. You niggas ain't playing up here with that one. Are you ready to move on to Mega Death Sauce? Just got gum in it, yeah. And for Death Sauce, we have a special guest. All right, so we welcome to the table Corey Smith. For the people who don't know Corey, Corey is Vince's manager, but so much more. Okay. A mentor, a brother, the a homie. guy who is going to support his man through Blair's Mega Death Sauce with Liquid Rage and let the record show. Yes. Corey has been doing these wings over there in the corner, just going right along with That's the show. That's called business partnership. Man. That's for I real. Wanna, I just want to say something real quick, and this is coming from Vincent Staples and no other party. Stop hitting the homie up, asking for tickets to Dave Chappelle at Radio City <laughs> with your bum ass. <laughs> Quest Love asked the question, hey, Corey, I need, I got you, your Quest Love. Random motherfucker, we ain't spoke to him in five years, pop up like, hey, we ain't gonna ask you how the baby doing. We're not gonna, we, hey, Vince album fire, by the way, we need a feature, or, hey, what's up with Dave's show? Hey, nigga, what's up with your mama? <laughs> Whoa. That's how I feel. <laughs> See, this is why I'm usually off camera. <laughs> so this wing Got me high. is Blair's Mega Death Sauce Who's with Blair? Liquid Rage. Blair is a is man a from New like Jersey. Like <clears throat> See, this fuck up, yo. Your digestion, like when you're chewing it, it's nothing, but when it hit the yada, I mean, it's yada, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's bada bing, bada ding. You ding, know what I mean? Dong. I'm good with this one. Yeah, he's gigging, you know what I mean? So, Corey, I'm happy that I have you here. Okay, too. Because, and I'm happy that you're distracted by the death sauce so I can get some truth out of you. Okay, I'm here. What's the biggest pain in the ass thing about managing Vince Staples? Me? Pain in the ass? Mm hmm. 
just to be nonchalant about everything. But that's kind of like me, so. What's the last <laughs> thing you two argued about? Yeah, we don't really argue. Not big, like I said, like, I wouldn't argue with anyone, really, for the most we part. We have a con- if you argue, you're insensitive. You gotta sit there and yeah. have a conversation. We have a conversation about a lot of stuff. We talk about press a lot. All right, that's a good segue. Whose idea was it to do this show? Ours, because you did it. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, a lot of it is, is the fact that I think people want him to say things that are, like, you they, know, You know, they all up on the book and don't even know the flavor. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, The 90s <laughs> hip-hop shit was so crazy. They take the story, they put it in a box, and it becomes that box, and then it's like a game of telephone between all the different blogs that are running it, and then that gets out, and then the narrative is already cemented into a place, and then in every single interview you do for like the next three years, you have to talk about it. This is a promise. I had two interviews today. This one, another one. These are the first two interviews I've had in months where they didn't reference another interview. Yeah. Every interview is about, I read in the interview that it's like, cuz, why are we here? Just read that one. Oh, look at the homies. Y'all put two American. Ooh. Hey, bro, this is gonna be fire. You ready? All right. So, before you take a bite, this is the last dab. It is the hottest sauce that we have, and it's called the last dab because it's tradition around here to, to put a little dab on the last wing. You don't have to mm-hmm. if you don't want to, but Bro. you did make it this far. Come on, I need a little chunk of that. There we go, so dad. You ready? That's you? That's you, right? Hold on. Mm-hmm. We have That's two you. sauces. Mm-hmm. That's why I need y'all to do. Make sure you go buy this one for your granny and go buy this one for your mama, okay? We need both of them, okay? I'm so fucking proud of you. Thank you, Vince. I appreciate that, man. You too. You too. Nah, it's not about me. Whole about team you. winning. Whole team winning. No, 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 no. It's about you right now. That's what I'm saying, man. It's hot, but it's not hot to the point that you don't enjoy it, bro. And the mustard has a consistency, a nice texture to it. So where it's not too runny, not too, it don't, you can't run from it. It's there and it captures you. You haven't been captured, Vince. You're very much operating above the hot sauces right now. You're very much in the clouds. This as one far fucked as these me up go. because it just was nasty. Like, it was too tart for me. But we are still, I mean, I'll do this. And if you feel me walking out of here, I'm gonna be chipper. So, you've been labeled a nihilist, a bit of a curmudgeon. And if I'm being real, that's probably what I find most relatable about Vince Staple. Mm -hmm. But I do care about your happiness and worry about it a little bit. If money were no object, how would you live out the rest of your life? I'm a happy motherfucker, bro. You'd be surprised. I'd be tripping sometimes. I'd snap it. Oh, cuz, blah, blah. But them days just passed me, bro. I'm just not for the bullshit. We got this thing where everybody sit here and lie to each other in their face. We ain't finna dress up for nobody because we doing it good. That's a beautiful feeling. My mama don't work no more, you feel me? She be calling me like, hey, turn on to Channel 5 right now. These niggas on Maury tripping, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's my life. Life is good. And you know what else, Vince Staples? You came in, you cleared the board, you conquered the wings, you got on top of the hot sauces. It was an amazing performance. You know who I'm looking at? You know me, you know how I get down every time I come to Complex. You knew, but you gonna learn real soon. This camera, this camera, this camera. Let the people know what you have going on in your life. Big Fish Theory in stores right now. Go buy a Sprite can with my name on it. That's for my mama. We get big checks over here. We giving them all back to the kids. Big Fish Theory in stores right now. I'ma say it twice because you wasn't paying attention. You wanna know why we not like you niggas? Cause we don't like you niggas. So we don't want no features. You can't get nothing from us. We don't want your beats. We don't want none of that. You ever seen Tron? Hmm? Black Tron, nigga. Not the new one, the old one. The new one's trash. Disney, holler at me, I can reboot that for you. <laughs> Bad boy. Right. Hello, Hot Ones fans, it's Sean Evans. New outro, same message. If you like what you saw, throw us a bone, maybe. Please, it is dog eat dog here on the YouTube streets. Hit that subscribe button. Knowing that you subscribed, it is seriously the only thing that gets me out of bed in the morning. Thank you very much, Hot Ones fans. I love you.